Hey friends, so I'm going to show you in this video how to create the easiest rotating testimonial slider in Squarespace. If you guys love Squarespace and show it website tips, go ahead and click the little subscribe and you will get um, updated when I post new videos. So um, there's obviously multiple ways to do this. This is just the easiest and fastest way I have found. Uh, so starting off, um, let me go back to the home. Uh, we are using Squarespace 7.0 in this version. And so if you look at the home page, the way it's set up is in an index page. So this right here is my, it says press quote, it's my testimonial section of the website. Um, so all you have to do is go and add a section and it'll pop up at the bottom. So then just drag it up to where you want it. And then I started off with having a little image that says kind words. If you wanna create, um, an image like that that kind of has a cool tilt, you can just go into Canva or uh, Photoshop or whatever you use and you just write out the, the text. Um, just make sure you export it as a PNG so that like if you you notice this is not a white background so it would show up as just a white background if I didn't have that. And then I have two spacers ne next to it. And then I add a summary block. Um, so if you look here, I have a carousel, that's the one I want I want to use. Um, and number of items, whatever, however many testimonials you want to have. And then items per row, you're gonna have one. And this will be set up after you, so I'm kind of skipping ahead here, but this is how I'm gonna set it up. So we're gonna go back to that actually. Um, so starting off, we need to create a testimonials. So you just come to plus and you create a blog and you can just, title it testimonials or whatever, I title it testimonials for stream, go into it and you click this little plus button to create a new testimonial. This will be a page on your website. Uh, most likely people aren't going to discover it unless you have a pretty easy URL. So I think the URL for this is accountingbyadrena.com backslash testimonials dash for dash stream. No one's gonna type that in. So I don't really care how the page itself looks. So you go plus, and that'll take you to this. Uh, you don't need to have a post title, you don't need to have any text, just come over to options, and the excerpt is where you're going to put in the testimonial and then the name. Um, when you are doing the excerpt, excerpt, I like the testimonial to be bolded and larger and the name to be smaller. This is all personal preference. So uh, you can highlight the text and I have it as an H3. That's a medium heading. You could have it as an extra large heading, whatever you want. And then I of course have the uh, name in italicized and it's just in paragraph two. So it's a little bit smaller. There are tons of different ways to do testimonials. So if you wanted a little image to pop up, um, you notice that I did not have that. This is where you would add that image. All right, so then you just go ahead and save it and you make sure that it is uh, published and you can just continue to copy that for however many testimonials you have. Then you go back to your homepage, that little section we created. And where is it? Doo -doo -doo. Press quote is what I titled it. Uh, so it'll jump on down. And we're gonna go back to that section that I kind of already touched on and that's where you're going to add a summary block. It's kind of getting funky right now. Not sure why, sometimes that happens with Squarespace. If I were to reload it, it would probably get fixed. So uh, this is where you add that summary block. And like I said, you wanna have just, I just wanted to have one uh, testimonial per thing. Um, and I have it centered. I have the text as medium. And if you end up having a little photo, uh, you can click on thumbnail and that will show that photo. I don't, so that's not gonna pop up. And then I don't want any read more link. I don't want a header text. It'll probably say featured. I didn't want that. Um, and then you of course have to select the page. So you can select really any of your blog pages. So if you have multiple, just make sure that you select the testimonials for stream or whatever it was. Um, and then I have none and none. And that is all there is to it. It's super easy.